Hey, yo, what's up, guys? Professor here. Today, I'm going to teach you how to export your stems from FL Studios and how it works. And uh, let's just hop right in. So, you got your song, of course, right here. So, uh, say you want to export them to uh, have mix them down separately, save processing power, or send it off to someone. The biggest thing when exporting your stems from FL Studios is going to be how your mixer looks. Because any mixer insert, or any insert itself, is going to be rendered out through the track. So every time it makes a noise. So it's not going to render out like this track, this track, this track, this track, this track, like this on the playlist. What is going to render is your inserts, all right? So we're going to talk about rendering in two ways. We're going to talk about rendering wet stems and dry stems. And by wet stems, I mean with all your effects on your inserts enabled. And dry is without them enabled, OK? And there's reasons to do this both ways. But uh, let's go on in. And we're going to uh, just highlight the area we want to render like we would render a song. File, export as a wave. Uh, you'll want to make a folder. I already made a folder, but you'll want to make a folder for these so that we don't get them mixed up. Uh, YouTube tut tutorials, go to subscribe. Uh, first, we'll do our dry stems, all right? So go to dry stems or make a folder for it. Now, this is what I'm talking about right here. Enable insert effects. If you want them dry, disable that button. And to do stems, you have to have split mixer tracks highlighted. You'll notice that this doesn't matter at that point. That's because we're only doing the inserts, not the master. So but that doesn't matter. Make sure you have a 32-bit or 24, something really high, 52, 5 point, whatever that quality. Split mixer tracks, wet, dry. So now. We will have this render, and we'll be right back, guys. All right, so now that our dry stems are done rendering out, we'll do the same with wet. Go into the same area as before, wherever you had them. Go to our wet ones. And remember to have them wet, enable insert effects, and make sure your split mixer tracks is on. And I'll see you guys in a moment. All right, guys, we're back. So we have both rendered out wet and dry. Let's uh, go on in here, and I'll show you the difference. So you're going to see all of these. These are all inserts that were active. And let's let this load up. All right, guys. So what you're going to see here is dry stems, like this. So yeah, that's pretty much everything to get your stems. Uh, let's take a quick look at the dry ones. Might as well, or the wet ones, now that we're here. Here we go, boys. All right, check it out. We got some wet stems, boom. kind of the whole thing going on with this one.
anyways guys so as you can see there's plenty of practical applications for this and of course you can always drag these into other DAWs as well and send them off to people to have them mixed and mastered um, that is all really for today it's a very simple process I hope this helped out if it did be sure to subscribe give it a like share it if it helps and uh, hit that bell thing so you can come back and check out more stuff I got coming out guys uh, check out the music the shops and everyone here keep grinding i hope everyone has an awesome day an awesome week an awesome holiday and leave any questions you have or ideas for videos down below all right or just feedback in general all right guys you have an awesome week take it easy thanks for checking out the video